before I start, I just wanted to thank so many of you for subscribing to my art channel. I can't believe it. <laughs> there are over 160 of you now and I did not see that coming from a mile off. And I hope you all love it here as much as I do and I hope that this becomes a little community. Today's video is going to be a new learning experience for me. You may have seen I tried making paper before, you can watch that here or here, but this time I am making paint. I've been clearing out a lot since my last video where I gave my home studio a makeover, you can see behind me, and I found some very old and definitely expired eyeshadow. There were 120 colours in the palette and I just, I didn't want to throw it away. And I definitely can't put them on my face, <laughs> so I thought what better to do than recycle it and turn it into something that I can make use of and that would be paint. So in this video you will see me transform my old eyeshadow palette into to watercolour paints and also some oil paints. So stick around to see how that one turns out and how they come out on paper. Keep in mind that I am no painting professional and I don't really know what I'm doing, <laughs> but if you did want to try following along with the method that I've put together, uh, this is what you'll need. For the watercolour paint you'll need a powder pigment, that's what my eyeshadow is standing in for. Gum Arabic, I used a pre-made liquid solution, um, but you can make your own with solid gum Arabic and like melt it down, but I am not safe with an oven, so <laughs> I didn't do that. Honey, I know, I was also surprised, but I will explain what it's used for later in the video. Glycerin, I did not use this because I don't have any and I completely forgot I'd need it. Um, I don't know how important it is but they worked without it. And finally, half pans or something to store the paints in. For the oil paints, I had much less of an idea of what I was doing here. I've seen people make watercolour paints before, never seen people make oil paints. You'll need powder pigment. You'll need, uh, I use linseed oil. I use refined linseed oil. I don't know if it makes a difference, but I had it. So I used it. You'll need airtight containers to store the paint. I think tubes are best for oil paints, uh, but I didn't have any. I ordered the more specialist ingredients, like the gum arabic from Jackson's Art, um, and I am an affiliate with them. So if you want to get 10% off of your very first order, you can use the link in my description for that. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> So this is the makeup palette and you may recognise it if you were ever part of the YouTube makeup guru era of the early 2010s. It's it's very old. I used a mortar and pestle to begin with. I didn't really need it and it ended up being more awkward than not. So first of all I'm making purple watercolour paint and I'm just going to mix up a bunch of different purple shades I've got. Eyeshadow does not come off of a mortar and pestle very easily. I now have a purple stained bowl. So I scooped that out onto a plate that was a sacrifice from the kitchen. <laughs> I don't think we'll be eating off it. And there's the liquid gum arabic and I'm creating like a little pool in the middle. I gave up on that later on, but everything said that that was what you were meant to do. And I was being really careful with the measurements because I just didn't know how much to use and I didn't want to use too much. And here's the honey, and that is used to help reactivate the paint later on. It helps to retain moisture, otherwise you'll end up trying to add water to the paint and it just won't do anything. All of these paints ended up like a gorgeous shimmery colour because most of the eyeshadows had shimmer in them. Painstakingly try to fill the pan. I'm speeding through a lot of this paint making because it's just kind of the same process. There are timestamps in the description, so feel free to skip ahead if you just want to see the oil paints or the painting. I mixed blue and pink to make this purple colour. It came out such a pretty colour, I can't, I can't get over it. This was when I thought maybe I should start swatching them. Um, if you want a full swatch video, I can make a short, so let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a good video of like close-up swatches of all of these paints. Uh, 
and just seeing how well they blend out with water. Surprisingly well. I've cleaned the plate and I'm going in with a variety of blues. I didn't know like exact colours I wanted to get, so I was just going to go for similar tones. Going in with the yellow now and I think my goal was to make something a little more like gold especially since so much of it was um, was very shimmery I think this one came out the best consistency of all of them but I wasn't super sure about the consistencies <laughs> Have you ever tried to make paint before or found an unusual way to recycle old makeup? I'd love to know what you've done, so drop me a comment and uh, maybe I'll give it a go myself. This red came out a little more on the pinky side, but it was really nice and worked really well in the final piece. Look at how pretty that pink came out. It's got such a gorgeous shimmer to it. Now I tried making oil paints. I had no idea what I was doing, but I had some refined linseed oil and these cute little macaroon containers. This was the point that I realised I couldn't open the linseed oil and I spent about half an hour prying off the child lock lid and then using pliers to pry it open. I was being really careful with how much oil I put in. I'd read a few articles that were saying to be very, very on the side of not using a lot. Eventually I add enough and come to a nice consistency. I think I should have made these a lot thinner. I had never done them before and I haven't even used my oil paints in a long time so I forgot what consistency they were. I should probably have checked that. But they look really pretty. I really wanted to colour coordinate all the pots, but I didn't have a turquoise and I wasn't using orange, so. This gold is the prettiest gold paint I've ever seen. It came out so nice and it doesn't look the same on camera. So 
before we get onto the painting, I just wanted to let you know that I didn't have enough time for the watercolour paints in the pans to fully set, so they're still a little bit wet when I use them. If you want an update in a couple of weeks, leave a comment and I'll be sure to update you on how they work when they're fully dried. I also don't use a lot of the oil paints, they just didn't fit into the paintings. For me to properly use the oil paints, let me know and I'll do that as well. So onto the painting. I sketched up this character as a fae because most of the colours are not natural skin tones. As always I started off with the background, a nice splashy abstract one as you may have seen in my pet portraits video. I was really impressed with the colour of the purple and how well I could use the water to fade it from lighter to darker. It worked just like any other watercolour I've used. Which I'll be honest I was surprised about, I really didn't think they were going to work like at all. I started on the shading in a purple tone, which again you may have seen I do often do, but this worked particularly well because of the colour I was going to paint their skin. purple blended out really nicely, I was very happy with it, would definitely use it again. It's a little more pink than I would usually use for skin tone shading, but again it's going to work well for this character. I drew this character as a part of my portrait practice as of developing my portrait style. If that's something you want to follow along with, I'm drawing a different face every day and posting it on my Ko-fi and you can follow that along over there. This blue has such a gorgeous shimmer to it and I'm really sad that you can't quite see it through the screen. I'll try and get some shots of it at the end. This was a little bit more granular, a little more patchy than the purple, but I think it still comes out pretty good. It layered really nicely over the purple as well, which was something I really wasn't sure about. I love that I was able to get such great gradation from darker to lighter and it kind of maintained the integrity of the colour as well. Apologies for the lighting, it looks pretty but it's hard to see but all I've got to work with right now is natural light so I'm at its mercy. So I decided to make the hair pink. I didn't intend to make this character inspired by Caduceus in Critical Role, but uh, it's certainly looking that way. This pink was a lot less pigmented than some of the other colours, but it still worked really well. It was just a little harder to get some of the darker spots.
I decided to use the red to add shadows and dark and some of the pink, which worked really well because as I mentioned earlier, it's kind of a pinkish toned red. Gave them a slight ombre to their hair. I think it really brought some dimension into the piece. The orange was very, very thick and I definitely didn't get the consistency right, but the green was nice enough. Which is your favourite colour that I made today? See, I want to say mine's the purple, but I actually think I really love the gold. The yellow gold. I think it came out so nicely. And also, the consistency was perfect, and it layered really nicely over things, which is unusual for a watercolour. Here is where I kind of tried to add some of the oils, it didn't work so well. I've never used oils over watercolour or oils on paper, which is probably my biggest mistake. And I also didn't have any thinner, so I added a few accents, but I wouldn't consider it a fair trial of the oils. So if you want to see a video where I focus on the oil paints, let me know. Seriously though, that gold as well. Stunning. I layered that over some of the areas to bring some more shimmer and it did look really good. You just can't really see it. And this was my biggest mistake. I tried to add, well, I had no idea what I was going to add with the purple oil in the background, and that was the mistake. I didn't have a plan and I hated it, so I kind of stopped halfway. I think it still looks okay though, like slightly intentional, even if you all know the secret. I went through several black pens trying to uh, find something that would work for the line art. Um, most of my pens are dead, apparently. I wanted to use an old black lipstick for the line art. Uh, unfortunately, it was a little too waxy and it wouldn't work properly. So you get a brush pen.
This original painting is actually available to purchase on my Ko-fi, so if you would like it, head on over there. Peeling the tape is always the most satisfying thing. And then as always, I signed my artwork. Here's the final piece. I hope you really enjoyed watching me recycle makeup. Leave a comment if there's something else you'd like to see me try. Drop a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more art related videos from me. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a great day.